Uh, let's talk a little bit about some updates this week. Uh, you, you had the chance uh, to talk to Executive Vice President Steve Miranda uh, at Oracle about some exciting AI-focused updates in their supply chain management and in their HR-focused tool. Um, what's going on there, Pat? Yeah, it was a great conversation last week uh, I had with with Steve. And so as just some background here, uh, Oracle has a suite called Fusion. It's an end-to-end -end enterprise SaaS offering, which connects the front end uh, to the back end. Daniel, I put that in just for you. Thank you. Uh, and it has a quarterly update, which, you know, if if you follow enterprise SaaS market, that is that is just what what, what they do. Uh, and I think the highlight here was, and again, no, no huge surprise here. Uh, Oracle is adding AI and automation capabilities uh, to its HCM, so human capital management, and SCM updates, supply chain management. And this is, you know, we have been talking about on the show for for years the value that AI can bring, and it's not just. Bringing AI for the sake of saying we're AI, it's solving uh, real uh, customer uh, problems. So, you know, one of the examples that I thought was uh, super interesting was the ability to have a higher accuracy in terms of lead times. And if you're a manufacturer, that is a a, a big a big deal, right? Because a lot of many times, if you have a diversified supply chain, you might. Uh, one of your attributes is going to be how quickly can I get that that product, right? And what this uh, capability does, it cuts through the BS to get to a higher probability of of um, theory becoming a a reality. And I think that is is super uh, Im important. So um, it also helps in planning upfront as well, not just kind of reactionary. I need the goods. Uh, the second part where they added it was in uh, was in uh, HCM, where, you know, HR is monitoring skills and looks at gaps across teams, the organization identifies the skill needed to uh, complete a project to achieve a business objective and automatically adds adds these skills to every employee's profile. So it's not only helping you figure out who might be best for, let's say, a project or a team, but also adding those capabilities to the database uh, to have a much better idea. It's not like you can rely on your employees to have, you know, perfect LinkedIn profiles talking about every project that they that they ever um, uh, that, that that they ever uh, uh, worked on and. Uh, one of these uh, big modules inside of Oracle Cloud HCM is called Oracle Grow, right? And that cuts across talent management, learning, succession planning, employee uh, growth. And this, you know, employee grow gives employees even a clear vision of skills that they need. So uh, I like this because it gives a, a 360 degree perspective. Uh, to the employer and to the employee on the skills that are required to be successful either in a project or overall uh, in a job. So, um, it, it, you know, my, my final, final, um, final thought here is no longer are we talking about, you know, Oracle Fusion updates, can customers take it? That That is somewhat fading to the background. And I from its customers. And, and I attribute that in part to how low the risk has been to do this. Um, you know, and, and, and I kind of relay this to the good old days of even desktop operating systems when it's like, wait, 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 you're going to update this right on a consistent schedule. I have to test this thing for a year. So no longer are are we seeing those massive debates out there. The only weird chatter, and it's to be expected, is those people who just never wanted to go to Fusion. Uh, they're they're okay using a piece of software that's ten or fifteen uh, years years old, probably picked up uh, from one of Oracle's uh, acquisitions. I get it, but um, Oracle cannot. Um, and 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 does not um, 
uh, put the center of their investment on that. They're really doing this on on the future. So I had a good conversation with Steve on how do you pick the features that you put in there, right? You can read that in a Forbes article that uh, I'll probably uh, publish next week. Yeah, you hit this pretty well. I mean, look, it's all about continuous improvement in the apps ecosystem, Pat. If you're a business leader, owner, and you're not looking at your critical tools, your ERP, CRM, HCM, SCM, to optimize right now using things like automation and AI, you are uh, likely to be missing a massive trend that could give your business a competitive advantage. Now, the key is going to be in the competitive landscape is that these companies need to be rolling these out to not basically expose themselves to attrition. So, you know, if you're a smart business leader and the types of capabilities that you're looking for are not being improved, utilizing the capabilities of AI, ML, and automation, that's going to be opening the doors for people to look for other solutions. And lift and shift is painful, but it's even more painful to know that the business tool that you have doesn't match the capabilities. So what I like is that the company is really focusing on a number of iterative and important updates where ML and AI can be applied to make things better. Subscription management, quote to cash, configuring price, order management, and of course the overall ERP. Um, you know, uh, Fusion has been sort of well known and Oracle is kind of t uh, touted for how quickly it's able to close its own books on a quarterly yeah. basis, you know because the, they, they basically apply the tools themselves in their business. Um, so, you know, the application of AI based upon the company's current data set is a pretty substantial and meaningful set of data. And it's an opportunity for companies to keep improving and keep delivering better outcomes in their businesses through the uh, implementation of these capabilities. Um, the Oracle Me stuff, the, the HCM side of the house, was even more interesting. You know, you and I have talked a lot about upskilling and how people can enhance their careers. Uh, reskill uh, based around current business priorities. It's very hard as a manager when you're often doing a job, right? Because very few managers are just managing people. Generally speaking, you have a job, you're a player and a coach in most companies. So having the time to sit down with employees, figure out growth opportunities is something that uh, is really difficult. But the tools and technologies that can give visibility into this and then help companies find ways to enable their employees to grow and improve and and find career paths inside of companies is something that I think people will be looking uh, very closely at. So the utilization of AI and ML to support this, to me, is really exciting. I think there's more opportunities longer term with AI to even, uh, you know, help make better hiring decisions up front, um, finding profile matches and persona matches across a database, you know, using anonymized data that a company like Oracle has probably could help other companies, even if they don't have the same exact sets of experiences. That's going to take more time to play out. I did ask uh, Steve about it. They're not, that's not a focus right now, but what they're doing right now, I think is going to be very, very valuable. Like I said, especially because it's not another product, but it's just the continued improvement of the product that exists. So good set of updates from Oracle.